It's for me and my family, there was no military background. I was the first person to go into the military. I have four younger brothers. Three of them have served active duty since then. So I, you know, probably my, my lead is what eventually, you know, had them go into the military as well, but none, none of us have had any experience with the military, but it's pretty amazing when you look at the curriculum, the activities that you get to participate in. Like, I mean, I went to Germany one summer as a, you know, it was called CTLT, Cadet Troop Leadership Training. You go into the spot of a second lieutenant or first lieutenant while they're on leave. It's like on the job training, right? A little apprenticeship. You get to go in and you're like a you know, 19, 20 year old kid, basically. And then you've got a platoon sergeant and then there's this whole army. You're in the real, like you're doing stuff. You're going to, you know, Grafenvir for, for training. And you know, we were on the full the gap in Germany and you could look across with binoculars and see Soviet weapon systems across, you know, the full the gap. And wow. Like where does that happen to somebody in college? Right? This is stuff you can't right. you can't replicate. And you know, one summer I spent uh working with the House Armed Services Committee. And at the time it wasn't like televised on C SPAN and, and the markup hearings was all top secret, but I had a top secret security clearance. So I could kind of go in and watch like how laws are being made, the trading that's going on, all the, the all the dynamics of those things. And you, you know, you, you have like 16 credit hours a semester, not 12 or 11 classes on Saturdays. You don't, I mean, it's, it's amazing the amount of stuff that you can endure and that you can excel at. You just, if, if every, if people take the kids gloves off, it's like, this is everything that you have to accomplish. This is the time we'll, you know, we'll, we'll give you some tools to try to help you do it. Your classmates, right? The other cadets, they can help you. But if you're not a good person, yep. it becomes real clear to everybody and nobody helps you, right? So there's this whole yeah. ecosystem of evolving and learning how to become an officer in the, in the, you know, the United States military to, you know, raise your hand and swear to protect and defend the constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Like, I mean, that was, I don't know, 1989. And it's, I, it's in, you know, embedded in my, in my body. Right. So if you look at, yeah, I don't know, a life of service or some form of DNA of giving back. And I, and I look at what we do now with my, my partner in Moonshots Capital is also a West Point graduate. He's a few years younger than I am. And we met, we actually met when I won the apprentice, He'd finished his PhD at Columbia and was teaching as a, in the social department at West Point. The, the dean asked me to come to speak to cadets and faculty because like 30 million people watched the finale of the show. And it, Mark Burnett played up my military background in West Point. And yeah. the dean said to me, Kelly, I think you did more for West Point out of it than you out of the military than you ever could have in the military. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, I think that was a compliment. Um, but, but Craig drew the Craig drew the short straw to be my handler for the day I came to speak. So that's where we met when we developed a, you know, a strong friendship. I helped him when he exited the military, navigate some of the early stage tech things. We started trading deals. We eventually decided to work together to invest in extraordinary leadership. Like it's so, it's so embedded in us and, and we know and understand like the lifeblood of our country is this you know technology and and entrepreneurism that built the country right from the very beginning yeah. right and that and yeah. that is yeah. what we're feeding and and we like investing in extraordinary leadership and a natural you know place for us an authentic place for us to look at that is military veterans as part of the founding teams so in our 200 million plus AUM that we have that we're operating with over 30% of that has gone into companies that have military veterans as part of the founding team.